Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a barn tour for April 2020. I'm very excited as I've completely redecorated my stables over the past couple of weeks. I've taken down tons of stuff that was up, um, like posters and things, that have been just hanging around for ages. And I'm, I love it and I can't wait to show you. So let's get started. Welcome to the front of my main block of stables. I have completely changed this, uh, new signs, new everything on the front. I'm very excited. I've also changed the name of the whole barn. I just felt like a change to be honest. So now it is the Lakeside Equestrian Centre. <laughs> it's very nice. So on the sign it has the name, obviously. And this lovely sort of lake and pine trees and mountain thing that I drew. Quite proud of that. Um, and they've also got the social media logos at the bottom. Quite cool. And there's also two lovely pictures of horses. I got them off the back of one of my old calendars, I think. So they look lovely. And there's also a little doorbell here. It rings a bell inside the tack room. Very exciting. On the other side... We have uh, the facilities, what you can do here. And again, on the sign, there's um, the pine trees and another lake. And I actually made the two signs so that they kind of read as one image. If you push them together, they'd be the same, if that makes sense. It's quite cool. I like that. And we also have another lovely picture of a horse. And the opening times of the stables, also it has a phone number and an email. In between the two sides is my gate and attached to the gate is some lovely white flowers that I've got on there uh, to give it a very nice spring vibe. And down here we have the uh, hook and chain so you can lock it. Pretty sure it's not the safest lock but it works to keep it shut and I don't think anyone's going to be trying to break in. <laughs> Heading on inside, um, and well, coming to the left, you get to the tack room that I have spent absolutely ages trying to make nice and change and, you know, make it fresh and new for the spring. Spring, I've spring cleaned it. Yes. Anyway, on the back wall, we have a range of tones from dark to light in the bridles. I love it. It looks really cool, actually. Um, then below that we have two saddle racks, one that has a saddle on and one that doesn't. On the side wall we have tons of stuff going on. We have more bridles up here. These are the ones that didn't fit into the colour scheme over here, so they're just rejects. Um, below them are some riding hats that aren't being used. We have a key too and also some very nice horse posters. Um, personally, these are my favourite three that I have in my barn, so I've put them all together. I especially love the top one. I think it just is so... what's the word? And then we just have two saddles at the bottom. Uh, yeah. Finally, we have the front wall. Um, so on the floor we have a chair to sit on and a crate full of numbers and... Saddle pads, yes. And on the wall, we have a gorgeous poster of a horse and the lesson timetable, so when the lessons run and stuff. And then on the shelf, we have a jar full of polo mints and a medical kit. Over here, last but not least, we have the doorbell and also this weird plaque thing on the wall. That is it for the tack room. Let's move on with the tour. Over in the first stall is our American saddlebred mare, Whirlwind. She is probably my favourite shellac horse. In her stall, she has her hay and she also has some gorgeous pink tack outside. Love this tack. It is probably my favourite too. It's just such a nice pink colour. Anyway. Down from Whirlwind is Zeus, our Andalusian stallion, and he's just eating hay. Over here is Mystery, and she is an Arabian mare. And out front of her stable is a gorgeous palmino horse in amongst 
Lavender? <laughs> I don't know. Purple flowers. And on the end in the pony slash foal store is Sea Star, and she is a Hanoverian filly. And out front is a huge poster on different colours of horses. Hay, a weird bucket thing. And also Trooper, a quarter horse gelding. And he is being tacked up by his owner, Jesse, who is currently looking in um, a box for some brushes to brush him off with. Uh, yeah. Down here is the feed room. Um where the feed is stored to feed the horses. There's a lovely sign, clearly pointing this out to you. Um, a picture of some horses eating. The feed chart, um, where, well, you find out what to feed each different horse. Uh, another picture of a horse drinking this time. And lots of buckets, uh, feed bags, and some feeds already made up for horses that have like a special diet or something. On the other side of the barn this time, we have some lovely tack. And we also have Millie, our nabstropper mare, who has a haynet and a salt lick in her stall. Um, this way from her is an empty stall. And this way again, in the last stall in this barn, is a call to horse gathering, it looks like. So this is Abigail, and she owns all of these horses. She's currently feeding um, Pie, our quarter horse foal, here a cupcake, and his twin sister Pumpkin is looking a bit jealous by the looks of things. And in the back is Crystal, the mum, and she's a quarter horse too, and she's eating from her hay net. Outside of the stall is a gorgeous picture of Crystal, maybe, <laughs> and one of her foals. There's a shelf with a milk bottle on, and there's also a crate full of apples. We're back outside the main barn, and now directly in front of it is Sophia and her horse Blossom, who is an Andalusian mare. These two are my newest purchases, and I love them honestly so much. This horse is definitely one of my favorites. If it's not my favorite, it'd probably be second. She's just so pretty, and I love how the rider and horse match so perfectly with the flowers in their hair, mane and tail. It's just so satisfying. Coming to the right of those two is the Rider Cafe. Now this is one of my favourite places in my whole barn because I just think it's such a cool idea how you can ride your horse somewhere and then like tie it up outside and go and have a smoothie or something to eat inside. So I, I, ju I just love it. <laughs> Over here um, in one of the tie-up areas is Dolly, my curly mare. She has a saddle on and she has a water bowl down there and also has a salt lick. And the other horse here is Hades, my Frisian stallion, if my camera will focus. Yeah, there we go. He's got his foot currently in his water bowl. I think he's a bit impatient to go, to be honest. How rude. In the paddock attached to the back of the cafe is Jack, my little Welsh pony stallion. I love him because he's got such character in his face. So he's just eating from the hay trough. And in his field with him is Poseidon and he is an Andalusian stallion. Here is a pine tree and some spring flowers. This is the sign. It can do this. Over here is Bandit, my Camarage stallion. And there's a... What's this called? A trough full of apples, there we go. And also a salt lick, and there's a, another bit here where you can attach a horse to. Either side of the front door are two lovely pots of roses. Inside the cafe right now, there aren't a lot of people because it's not the lunchtime rush hour. However, the cafe guy, Ollie, this man here, is well, he looks like he's got his hands quite full at the moment because Patch and Ginger Nut, the two miniature Shetland ponies who are notoriously naughty, have escaped from their paddock again and are trying to steal a piece of the apple pie by the looks of it. Yeah, that, that's not good. Aside from that, though, it's a lovely cafe. It's got a till, tons of food that thankfully is protected by the glass. 
Uh, it's got some juices in the back, a lovely picture of a white pony in the snow. I put that in there. Very nice. Um, there's animal feed underneath the counter there. Glasses, uh, signs, rosettes, coffee machines, ovens, bottles, plates, and a tray that's supposed to be being served to someone, I guess. But it looks like he's a bit busy right now. There's also lots of tables and chairs. And there's also this lovely tree that's got a seating area underneath. And Sarah's just sat underneath the tree right now in the shade. Looks quite relaxing. She's probably just chilling there for a minute. In the courtyardy bit here, I've made a wall full of art. So there's lovely posters and pictures of horses and all these nice things. There's some plaques on that wall there and a gate separating the cafe from the rest of the barn so the dogs don't get in and join the ponies with eating stuff. And on the left here, there's also another gate into uh, Jack and Poseidon's paddock. Right at the end, there is a petting zoo that's filled with all the animals that aren't horses, basically. Um, just to keep them all in one place and contained. <laughs> There's also a lovely horse statue that I made. In here we have Betty, hot chocolate, mango, a goose, pepper, sheep, chickens, cows, and also Tempest, my thoroughbred foal, Belle, my Clydesdale foal, and Fudge, my Dartmoor Pony Stallion, and Peach, my Miniature Shetland Gelding. Whew. Okay, continuing on with the tour. This way, through the gap between the fences, we get to a paddock full of geldings, mares, and foals. Though I think there's actually just one gelding. This is Seamus, my American saddlebred gelding. Love this guy. Behind him is Venus, my thoroughbred mare, Boomerang, my tinker mare, and Tango, my pintabian mare. They have hay and water, and also a ball. In the back, at the back of the foal's herd, we have Governor, Tennessee Walker foal, Scout, my Andalusian foal, Tic Tac, my Holsteiner foal, Brownie, my Arabian foal, Cloudy, my tinker foal, and Blondie, my halflinger foal. And a tree. Across is Poseidon and Jack. And by Poseidon is another entrance, well, a gate to their paddock. A bit further down is a mounting block. And to the left of that, by the paddock, is a big storage area full of hay, wheelbarrows, and mucking out tools. Here is one of the farm dogs, Mrs. McGregor, and she is a pug. And sausage, the sausage dog. Okay, so this area is done. I'm going to save that barn until later. And I'm going to go this away for now into this next section that backs on to the cafe. So through the gap is a lovely block of stables, four stables plus two wash stalls love this setup it's it's just so nice and i don't know compact it's really cozy is that the word to describe it anyway so along this stable wall here we have lots of western saddles plus one english and also a tack grooming box and the horse here is wildfire my arabian stallion behind him are two miniature schnauzers the first one here is uh, Scooby, and the second one is Chip, who's looking into the cafe quite longingly. And there's also one of their teddies on the floor. It's quite cute. Over here is Hunter, my Tennessee Walker stallion. And next to him is Firefly, my Hanoverian mare. On the wall by Hunter, there's a poster and a place to tie up your horse. And outside are a bag of treats. Over here is Gucci, my Rocky Mountain mare, and Glimmer, my Lipizzana mare. Lastly, on these hooks is where all the head collars and lead ropes and stuff like that is kept. 
In the first wash stall, over here is Topthorn, my Frisian stallion. I love this guy, he's just so handsome. He's wearing a head collar and he's tied up either side. And Lucky's giving him a shower, it's very nice. There's a bucket full of sponges in the corner and that's pretty much it. In the second wash stall is Storm, my Holsteiner mare, and she's having a checkup by the vet, Abby. And in, in the alleyway here is Abby's quad bike, and it's got her vet bag on the back, and she uses it to drive around, you know, the barn, so she can get from one place to another quickly. And finally, out the back of the petting zoo and by the wash stalls is a big tack box that has a large selection of different sized numbers. It's got some saddlebags in there. I think a few martingales. It's pretty much it, to be honest. So that is that for this section. Now I'm gonna head on in to the big barn here. This is the ramp up on inside. These are some nice spring flowers. Heading on inside then, the first four stalls that you come to are small temporary ones and in them right now is, well they're filled with bedding and they've got a bale of hay each. So in the first one over here is my lovely Tinker Stallion, Jupiter. There's an empty one next to him and over here there's Ace, my Halflinger Stallion. Next to Ace in the big stable is Chica Linda and she is a thoroughbred mare. She has a hay net in her stable and lovely bedding. Opposite her is Katniss and she is the special Tinker Mare and she's eating from her hay net. She is very pretty, I love Katniss. This is Spot and he is a Dalmatian puppy and he's just looking up flame right now. Over in the back corner is Cora, the Frisian Mare. She has a big hay net in there and a picture at the front of her. And there's two just sacks sat in the corner there. In the other corner is Victory, my thoroughbred stallion. He's just admiring a picture of himself. And there's another poster next to him on the other side. And he's also got a hay net in there. And finally, in the middle is Flame, my Hanoverian gelding. He's got two hay nets in the back there. A picture of himself outside. And I think he's having a little chat with Victory right now, actually. So we're all the way back over here now. We've completed that side of the barn. Now we're gonna to turn to the left and um, I'm gonna do the paddocks and the arenas and cool stuff like that. Now here I have two very big paddocks. One's got mares and geldings in and the other has my stallions. I know stallions wouldn't go together in real life but I didn't have the space or fencing to put them separately. So, you know, never mind, it's fine. To get to the paddocks, you head down this little bit here, and then there's two gates you can go in. I'm gonna go in the stallions first, cause they're at the back and just get them out the way. So this is Boris, my Tinker stallion. Behind him is Monty, my Camarage stallion. Here is Churro, my um, Andalusian stallion. He's not shellac, despite what he looks like. He's just a copy brand, but I, I still love him. He works, he's, he's gorgeous. Back from them is Prince, my Shire stallion, plus poop and a big pine tree. And then finally, there's this big group of guys here that are currently having a run. So in the front is Orlando, my Mustang stallion. Behind him is Spirit, my quarter horse stallion. Over here is Blaze, my Trachner stallion. And back from him is Rocky, my Appaloosa stallion. And finally in the back is Warrior, my Mustang stallion. So starting on the mares and geldings paddock, over here we have two yearlings. The one in the front is Midnight. She's a Papo horse that I customed and it went badly wrong. So I'm going to be fixing that, but she is a Mustang. And behind her is Moana, and she is my Mustang yearling filly thing. Then there's another big tree in the paddock. A very big hay bale. Poop. And then a very large herd of horses. This is Fred, my Clydesdale gelding. A rock. 
um, Bubbles, my Pinto yearling, Pogo, my Tennessee Walker yearling, Charlie, my Shellac Custom, he doesn't have a breed, he's just a riding school pony. Then there's Pixie, my Appaloosa yearling, Angel, my uh, special Tennessee Walker mare, P uh, Pocahontas, my special Pinto mare, Katie, my Quarter Horse mare, Beauty, my Andalusian mare, Summer, my Shire mare, and finally Autumn, my Appaloosa mare. And another rock. Continuing to the left from the paddocks, you get to uh, the two arenas here at the stables. There's a big indoor one and a show jumping one. In front of the indoor arena is a lovely horse statue and it's surrounded by rocks to keep people from climbing on it, I guess. Nobody is currently in the indoor arena. It just has some trot poles laid out and that, that's pretty much it. In between both of them, there's loads of uh, spare poles that are actually just paper straws, but they work so well. Um, there's some jumps that aren't being used, and that, that, that's pretty much it. We have some very nice fence leading up to the show jumping arena. And then outside, we have loads of riding crops that are in rainbow order, I might add. Uh, loads of jump poles. I especially like the gold ones. They are lovely. And there's the Shalek Lego. Inside them we have two horses and two riders and they are going around a jump course right now. Over here in the back is Prue and she's riding Hanna, um, Havana, my Hanoverian mare. And I love her bonnet. I made it for her, like paper mache it. It is so cool. The pink just is amazing. I, I love that. And then over here, finally, we have Stacy, and she's riding her beloved horse, Mojo, and he is a Pinto Stallion. Everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful in some way. Of course, if you did, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel to not miss future videos like this one. Okay guys, I hope you have a great day. Bye!